I'm standing here with Ginkgo biloba, the maiden hair tree. Now this plant is a lot of times kind of grouped in with conifers because of its uniqueness. Uh, it is a deciduous tree. It loses its leaves uh, in the winter time. Uh, people grow this plant as a uh, street tree, as a specimen tree in their home landscape. It is dioecious, male and female are separate between plants. Uh, and the one that I'm standing in front of right here is a female ginkgo uh, with fruit on it. Typically, for the home landscape, people are looking for male trees only. And the reason is uh, that this fruit can fall down, it can be messy, uh, and it can uh, cause kind of a stink around the neighborhood or around your home. Uh, it's also quite messy on sidewalks. Uh, here where this is in a parking lot median where I'm standing. Uh, it does get kind of stinky and kind of messy uh, right around this area. Uh, but known for its brilliant yellow fall color, ginkgo has some of the clearest yellow fall color of any tree that you can plant. Uh, one thing that's very interesting about the leaves in the fall is that they tend to fall all at one time. Uh, you'll be uh, looking at a ginkgo, it'll be in brilliant yellow fall color, and then boom, the next thing you know, all the leaves will be on the ground. And it does create a beautiful carpet display of gold foliage on the ground. So uh, you're looking at the ginkgo here, uh, ginkgo biloba, uh, the maiden hair tree. Uh, like I said, this is a lot of times classified uh, near conifers because it is a gymnosperm. It's a non-flowering tree. Uh, it is actually, if you look at phylogenies, a lot of times you'll see this very close to cycads, which is another gymnosperm. Uh, and so it is quite unique. Uh, it is a non-flowering plant and it's got a very unique life cycle. Uh, and I do recommend that you look up its life cycle and kind of understand a little bit more deeply uh, how ginkgos reproduce. Now, uh, the ginkgo tree uh, is native to southern China. Uh, it gets 50 to 80 foot high, can spread out 30 to 40 foot wide, uh, and it is a, a tree that can be used for home landscape, uh, but it can also be used for street tree, media, uh, street tree uh, use, parking lot medians, uh, that sort of thing. So when you look closely at the leaves of the ginkgo, you'll see that the buds are stacked. Actually, the leaves are produced year after year in the same area, and they will stack on top of each other. Here is a landscape tip. Spectacular fall color. Only plant male trees when possible. Females drop foul-smelling fruit.